Hi, I'm Eric Carr. For my uh, EET480W project, I decided to uh, take the traditional uh, ball in the maze labyrinth game and do a, a microcontroller based uh, implementation of it. This allows for uh, different features to be implemented in the game, uh, not only the, uh, the uh, tilt based uh, motion of the ball through the maze and avoidance of obstacles, but uh, implementation of different levels. Um, uh, attractors, repulsors, all sorts of different uh, physical effects that uh, wouldn't be uh, possible or wouldn't be very feasible in a uh, mechanical version of the game. Um, basically, uh, the, uh, the idea is that data is provided by an accelerometer uh, to the microcontroller and that, uh, based on the force of gravity, tells the uh, microcontroller how far the game is being tilted in, in every direction and uh, that uh, that will allow it to uh, calculate how fast the ball should move in one particular direction. Tilt it left, uh, the accelerometer registers a, a negative acceleration on the x-axis and the ball is accelerated to the left. With a microcontroller based implementation of the game different features become possible and sometimes it's fun to uh, kind of uh, do a tongue-in-cheek take on the uh, mechanical version of the game. The, um, this mechanical version uh, has a clear plastic cover and so one way to kind of cheat your way through the maze if you uh, have a complete lack of dexterity like I do would be to actually um, load the ball into the maze and then play it upside down uh, that way you can go through the uh, you can go through the entire maze uh, with the ball rolling along the ceiling since the electronic version of the game uses a three axis accelerometer uh, it's actually possible to uh, code the game so that if it were played upside down and the z-axis acceleration is negative, the, uh, the holes uh, aren't activated. To work on the project uh, more efficiently, I used a uh, ICD 2.5 in-circuit debugger, which uh, allows updating of the uh, program code and uh, viewing of the different variables while, uh, while the MCU is still in the circuit. Here's the project board. Uh, basically, it's uh, consists of the main microcontroller underneath the, uh, the massive wires, uh, an LCD display, uh, power for the projects, four AAA batteries, uh, the accelerometer on a breakout board, uh, and level transition logic to uh, interface between the 2.5 volt accelerometer and the 5 volt TTL logic of the MCU. The uh, level transition logic is uh, a uh, voltage divider array of uh, 1K resistors, and to uh, move the voltage back up to uh, 5 volts, so I used a, a 7404 uh, double inverter. Uh, the MCU also interfaces with the audio subsection. It provides uh, music commands to the 16F88 music MCU here, uh, running at 20 megahertz. And uh, that uh, basically just uh, sends commands to tell it which song to play. And the, uh, the song data is all on the uh, 1 megabit uh, Serial EEPROM here. The uh, 16F88 uses the uh, the tone commands in the EEPROM and uh, via uh, pulse width modulation provides uh, different tones uh, on uh, six channel, three right, three left. These uh, tones are uh, mixed together into uh, one right channel, one left channel via the uh, uh, 1K resistor uh, mixer circuitry here. And then the right and left channels are amplified uh, via a pair of uh, 2N2222 transistors. And uh, then the audio is uh, output uh, on two uh, micro speakers, 10th uh, watt speakers from Radio Shack. Uh, the uh, execution of the game uh, basically begins by, by turning it on. And then the idea is to move a ball through the maze. It can be difficult to see here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in.